Purpose. My name is Simone and today we're going to talk about discouragement. Have you ever felt discouraged? Have you ever felt anxious, worried, or just beat down? I'm sure the answer is yes to all of those questions. If you're a human, we've all at some point dealt with discouragement. Um, when discouragement hits, how do you handle it? Do you cry? Do you close yourself off in a dark room? <laughs> Do you just let your thoughts kind of swirl around and think of every negative uh, possibility or situation? Um, well, I want to share with you today um, some ways that uh, can help us when discouragement hits. Because I don't say if, I say when it hits. Um, in my journey, I've definitely struggled with discouragement on many different occasions. and. In the midst of it, there's been times where um, I think it's almost even spiraled into depression and where the enemy basically uses it uh, to make me feel low and worthless. And the truth of the matter is, in Christ, uh, we are never to be without hope. Um, a lot of times if you trace your thoughts when you're having discouragement, it leads to a dead end. It leads to a situation where there's no hope. And in Christ... Um, that's the farthest thing from the truth. Um, he calls us more than conquerors. He says that we are loved, we are accepted, we are forgiven. Um, and it's so it's so important that we meditate on truth and we help one another um, in walking through a discouragement because it's a tool that the enemy really tries to use um, to get uh, the children of God down and to get us off focus. Um, so I just want to share some scriptures um, real quick. Um, this is Philippians 4. Um, six and seven. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And then here's a promise. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. It's so awesome because Jesus literally tells us through the scripture that Peter I mean, not Peter, that Paul wrote, <laughs> that we don't have to be anxious about anything. So when discouragement hits, um, I think the initial reaction is to feel anxiety, to feel tension, to feel stress in our bodies, to feel stress in our minds, to feel stress and worry and fear and all of these negative things that are not from the Lord. Um, but basically in this scripture, it's telling us to not be anxious about anything. There's no situation uh, that with God and with the power of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit living inside of you that we cannot handle um, if you're in Christ. So that's important to know, to understand. Um, next, uh, just a few thoughts. When you're having anxiety or you're dealing with discouragement, um, one of the things that I've noticed for myself is that it's very easy to stay in a place of um, being quiet and almost being more contemplative. Um, I would say when discouragement hits you, you should do the opposite. Tell a friend, tell a brother or sister in Christ, talk to someone. Because when you actually share the thoughts that you're having uh, with another person, they're able to reveal truth. Um, in my life, my husband has been an awesome um, encouragement when I've been having anxious thoughts or if I've been dealing with discouragement um, to shed light and to shed truth. Um, on the situation and God has been so faithful to bring plenty of other people in my life as well um, my parents my sister other friends over the years that when I've really been dealing with um, severe discouragement sharing with another person has literally lifted the lies off of me so I would say if you're having um, discouraging thoughts or you're dealing with anxiety talk to someone about it um, share with them, hey, this is what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling. And you'll be amazed at the power of light and truth and relationship when that person can share with you, hey, that's not really true. That's not, you know, what you're thinking is not reality. And so can I pray with you? Can I encourage you? Can I tell you what the truth is in this situation? And it'll help a lot. Um, another uh, scripture that is really good when dealing with anxiety is in 1 Peter. And this is a really short one. It says, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. And um, I'll even read the verse before that, verse 6. It says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, 
so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your care, all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Um, and that's a beautiful scripture um, in context because the first thing is talking about humbling ourselves. And when we're dealing with discouragement, it's easy to focus on us. And it takes humility to come before the Lord or to come before other people and say, hey, I can't handle this. This is too much. This is what I'm thinking. You have to be vulnerable to do that. And so the first part of that scripture is saying like, it's okay, come before the Lord, come before him, let him know what the problem is. Let another person that can be a representative of Christ in your life know what's going on so that they can share truth with you, so that they can encourage you and lift you up. And then you literally can throw all of that weight, all the things that are weighing you down onto the Lord and you can share them with another person as well. Another thing, um, when it comes to discouragement and anxiety and fear and all these things that we face, um, I thought of a acronym that a very wise man, Charles Stanley, uses in some of his uh, preaching, and it's called HALT. Um, so when you think of HALT, you think of stopping, you think of pausing, um, and that stands for hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. The next time that you're dealing with severe discouragement or anxious thoughts, I want you to think through and ask yourself, am I hungry? Have you eaten a nutritious meal at all today? Are you past eating? Are you just doing a lot of different tasks and you haven't really paused to eat? And I know for some people you might be thinking, hungry, what does that have to do with anything? That's not a problem. But I know for me, in my journey, there have been so many seasons of my life where I didn't take proper care of my body, the vessel that God has given us. And he says that our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. So if you're not feeding yourself properly, um, sometimes you're a prime target for the enemy to discourage you more severely than would be necessary if you were eating the right foods and taking good care of your body, drinking enough water, um, just making sure that you're adequately um, nourished. Uh, to face the problems that you're having. When you're, you're hungry, it's really hard to think clearly. So I want you to think about that. The next one is angry. Um, are you literally having emotions that are not healthy? Are you having severe anger? If so, you may need to cool off. That may be leading to some of the discouragement or the anxiety. Can you take a walk? Can you do something that will maybe take away some of the anger or the intense emotions that you may be feeling that may be fueling um, that discouragement. Uh, the next one, lonely. Are you isolated from people? Um, I know that we live in the 21st century where even things like this, YouTube, Facebook, um, social media are so prevalent, but so many people are so lonely and disconnected. Um, and it can be so easy to even be in a crowded room or be in a big group of people, but feel isolated and not feel connected. Um, so sometimes it takes intention, it takes a lot of work to reach out to someone else um, and share, again, what's going on inside of you and not stay disconnected. And then the last one is tired. Um, for me, again, a lot of times, even more recently, just a few weeks ago, I was struggling a lot with discouragement um, over a certain situation that had happened in my life. And when I look back on it, the time that I was having the most anxiety and discouragement about that situation was after a day of working for long hours at, at a time. And so when I look back on it, I wasn't thinking clearly and I was having severe discouragement um, because I was tired, because I needed to just go to bed and rest and not think anymore. And so if you're going and burning you know, the candle at both ends, you just keep working and you really just need rest, that might be another symptom of you know, the discouragement, why it's escalated so much. So maybe you're thinking after watching this video, I so needed that, I've been really discouraged or I've been feeling so anxious. Uh, we would love to hear from you. Um, we would love to pray for you, encourage you, and let you know, again, that you're not alone. We all go through discouragement at some point or another, and uh, we are family in Christ, and so we're here to encourage one another and help each other through um, all of these different things. Um, feel free to go to RadiantPurpose.com. Again, that's RadiantPurpose.com. Um, at that site, you'll see uh, videos from the past and also um, the way to contact us to let us know um, who you are and how you're doing and how we can be praying.
Again, thank you so much for all your feedback and encouragement, and we'll see you next time. Stay radiant, stay beautiful.